Hey there, everybody. Your old friend Rasmi is back, and I've got a review for you. Final- What is this? I'm trying to review the new Final Fantasy game, and you got this Radio Disney Channel garbage plan? Come on! Let's get some appropriate music here. That's better. Final Fantasy 13. Yes, the epic game series where you and a ragtag team of heroes embark on a mystical, magical quest in a bizarre and unusual world to save humanity from unspeakable evil. Again? Now I'm gonna make this quick. Here's the plot in a nutshell of a nutshell of a nutshell. So you play as this guy named Snow who's trying to rescue his girlfriend Sarah from the evil Emperor Super Pope guy, and along the way he joins forces with Sarah's older sister named Lightning, two possibly lesbian Australian girls named Vanille and Fang, a kick-ass dude named Zaz, dual wielding pistols and sporting an awesome afro, and unfortunately Hope also joins the party. Yeah, Hope sucks. Hope is a whiny little snot. Man, I hate him. He makes Titus from Final Fantasy X. Yeah, that crybaby looked like a macho manly badass. This game is awesome! I've been playing the Final Fantasy games for years, and this title, 13, definitely lives up to its namesake. The sword and sorcery style combat to this game is real slick. Don't be fooled by the auto battle button. You gotta stay on your toes, otherwise this game will kick your butt. So, with an awesome cast of characters and a really fun combat system, would you say Final Fantasy XIII is the best game of the series? Why, no, Inquisitive Turtle, it is not. There are some problems. I mean, besides hope? Oh, yeah. Yeah, remember that Emperor Super Pope villain guy I was telling you about? Yeah, he's kind of a boring villain. I mean, he's not that interesting. Kind of generic, really. I mean, he's literally the Emperor from Star Wars, fused with an evil version of the Catholic Pope. Not a whole lot going on there. So, it's like they weren't even trying to match my level of dastardly villainy. Well, it's kind of flattering, I guess. Yeah, I mean, it really would have been better if they would have gotten, you know, someone a little more evil and a little more memorable. Wait a minute, Super Sock. How did you escape from Super Prison? Uh, um, uh, gotta go. <sighs> Never mind. Along with a boring lead villain, the combat system can be a little unbalanced at times. I mean, you'll be mowing down little chompy chomp monsters like nobody's business, and you'll be like, yeah, I got this. And then all of a sudden, in the same level, freaking Godzilla will show up and just decimate everyone. Roar! Yeah, I'm back in video games, right? Uh, no, no, Godzilla, you're not actually in the video game. I was just co comparing, you know, you to the power level of some of the harder bosses and some of the just harder random encounters. Oh, you mean I'm not even mentioned? N no. Jeez, what's a guy gonna do to get some work around here? I'll be in my trailer. Poor guy. And finally, the last major gripe I have with the game is what's with the music? Final Fantasy has had this iconic music that they have used for years, and now they get this new composer and they don't use any of the classic tunes. Like, they got rid of the victory tune! Where's the victory fanfare? <laughs> they kept the chocobo theme and they remixed it so it sounds like a cool new dance club remix thingy so bottom line this is definitely one of the better Final Fantasy games. Not quite as good as my all-time favorite, 9, but definitely, and I mean definitely better than 10, and a whole lot better than 12. Man, 12 sucked. So anyway, 
go scoop up Final Fantasy 13 if you can. Until next time, I'm Razmir. Later.